Things have not been good for the Boston Bruins. Let's just be frank about it. The Bruins have dropped their last four. And in three of those games, there has been a complete and utter lack of effort. In fact, it's been so bad you have players like Patrice Bergeron calling out other players. Claude Julien, who is still coaching this team somehow, is just calling his players out right and left, saying that just, just the effort's not there. And even worse, we the fans, we are not happy. As the Bruins are out of the playoff picture at the moment, and about every team in the uh, Eastern, Divi Eastern Conference has a game in hand on the Boston Bruins at least once. So it's time to nut up or shut up. It is time to see what this team is really made of. And one important question needs to be asked. Do you not like losing? Because that's what you've been doing. Hopefully they can right the ship tonight as they take on Detroit in their own barn. Game number 51 on the Bruins recap show. So we start things off in the first period. Two U's, two K's, two Karask. Had a little bit of a migraine issue, apparently, uh, in Pittsburgh. But he's back on the ice, says he's 100%. He will take on Jared Correa, who the Bruins shellacked in the last time that they played Detroit. Uh, and they start off to a hot start again, as it is Kevin Miller, um, who gets his first goal of the season. <laughs> Are you serious? Although it may have been a Jimmy Hayes tip-in, um, really needs to take a second look. Either way, um, either way, somebody who doesn't score scored, basically. But a great play from Dominic Moore to set this up. Backhands it into space. Uh, Kevin Miller slides into it and fires it from a weird angle, and it beats the goaltender 1-0 Boston. Um, but just like that, Detroit has a quick strike offense. As it's a breakaway chance set up from a great pass from Mike Green to Andreas Athanasiu. And he goes on a breakaway from about center ice. Nobody's going to catch him. Detroit scores on their very first shot of the game. Makes it a 1-1 one -one hockey game. But Boston will get on the power play. And uh, David Pasternak will take a shot. Rebounds around as Ryan Spooner gives it a whack. The puck eventually finds its way to Brad Marchand for a quest for 40, number 18, Boston Bruins power play goal, 2-1 to one Boston. And that's going to be the end of the first period. A pretty okay first period, a little bit of lack sometimes. Um, but this team has no room for error, and you cannot give them the benefit of the doubt anymore. They need 40 more minutes of solid hockey. We take it to the second period, and just like the last meeting between these two teams, this period was heavily on the favor of the Detroit. And for Boston fans, you are thinking, here we go again, as it is going to be a shot from Mike Green that bounces off the skate of Kevin Miller and beats Tuka Rask 2-2. Game is tied up. And then uh, Zidane Chara trying to give it back to the point to Frank Vetrano, who made the cycle. He can't uh, handle the pass, and Carlo plays it like it's a two-on-one and goes way too deep, giving Thomas Tatar way too much room, who trickles it past Tuka Rask. Uh, it's a bad play by Carlo, but still Rask would tell you that this goal was on him. He should have held on to it because it literally tra trickled right between... Uh, his stomach and his elbow and rolled its way past the goal and 3-2 Detroit will take the lead as we go to the third period but on the third period once again a setup from Brad Marchand to Patrice Bergeron in the front of the net he takes a shot and a rebound pops out it's loose for a little bit Guess who's there after going around the net to bury it? That's right. Quest for 40, number 19, second of the game, Brad Marchand, baby, tying the game up, and we will go to overtime. Overtime! 
And in the overtime period, with about a minute and change left to go, David Pasternak will give it over to Brandon Carlo. Carlo will find David Krejci. Back to David Pasternak for a blistering one-timer, putting a little extra meat sauce. And you get some pasta. You get some pasta. Everybody get some pasta. The losing streak is over. The Bruins win it in overtime. On a devastating one-timer from David Pasternak, extra meat sauce and all, 4-3 final. The goal was reviewed for offsides, but ruled a good goal, absolutely. And this is the type of performance that Boston needed. This is what the result that this Bruins team needed more so than anything. They needed the two points. So let's take it quickly to the three stars of the game. Star number three. Only 23 saves, but in that third period and also in a little bit of overtime as well, Tuka Rask kept the Boston Bruins in it, making some phenomenal saves in the third. Star number two, he had a game-winning goal and the assist. David Pasternak. And the number one star, of course, going to the All-Star Game over the weekend with two goals on the quest for 40 Brad Marchand, and they need to keep up this effort, um, clean up a few things as well if they want to uh, have a chance against Sidney Crosby and the Stanley Cup champions on Thursday. We'll see you then on the next Bruins Recap Show.